starts the problem. So he walks in, and what's going to be the thing that sets off the problem? He nearly gets crushed. The, 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 line, the line of patrons is so long that he starts, he's almost crushed. So, almost crushed. He needs to get to the front of that line. He must get to the front of that line and ask Anne Marie's question. So we need, let's say, three moments of rising action. So three ways where he's trying to get what he wants. What's one way he could try to get to the front of the line? Yes, sir. Uh, you have a way? That's okay. The brothers are good for it. By running to the front of the line without getting crushed. He could dodge in between the people. So dodging between people. Excellent. Yes? He can make some stairs to the front desk with books. With books! Look at us using our setting. Stairs with books. And maybe they get knocked over, right? Because you try, but it doesn't necessarily work in the story, right? Yes? He can walk in the Mm -hmm. You can try like climbing like the wood paneling. Like, yeah, so he says he has all this like, on top of the desk, so like they can see him. All right, because maybe his, his, his staircase got knocked over, so then he has to just, just go for it. Right? Anything else? Yes? Fights with angry library patrons. You never get those, right? Ever. <laughs> All right, yes, sir, Charlie. Climbing people. Climbing up someone's leg. Climbing person. Excellent. Yes. Do you know? He could scare the people. He could try to scare the patrons. Maybe with some success, or maybe not. Look at that. Do you see how many? We have so many things that we our character could try. Okay. Now we forgot to decide. Are we ready in comedy or tragedy? Let's take a vote. Okay, tragedy is going to end with his death, by the way. So, <laughs> that's totally okay. But let's take a vote. How many of you want this to be a comedy? Comedy means that the character lives. That's all comedy really has to mean. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, how many people want this to be a tragedy? Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, he's dead. Okay, so something has to happen here. Now, he doesn't die here. That's not the climax. Because then what? That would be the end of the story. Things reverse and get worse. So it's gone from bad to worse. So this is the moment. It's a tipping point. It's too late. Things aren't going to get better. So we need something really bad. Yeah. Um, people notice that he's here and try to like him. Wonderful. What's your idea? Uh, when he's almost at the desk and he falls down and Steps on him. Okay, he can't step on him. Yes, but yes, that's excellent. Yes, sir. He doesn't notice that the man has a mini pitchfork. Pitch oh, the terrible man who was also upset. Outstanding. We have a real villain in our story. Yes. He's close to the front of the line. Someone kicks him to the other end of the room. Oh. <laughs> hey, yes. This is the best story ever. His stitches start to come undone, and he's going to fall to pieces. Yes. <laughs> Oh, he's so close, but now the librarian leaves. This, oh, and she may squish him too. Yes. <laughs> and they're falling again. Whoa! Great opportunity to like show the books falling and how giant they are. Maybe he sees one word in one of the books that says like yeah, the so end because he's so little. So the, the words are like this. Yes. Um, just a piece of gum. Just a piece of gum. Do we all sometimes feel like just a piece of gum? Is this an existential truth we're reaching for? <laughs> you know. Um, uh, the person, the doctor who invented Frankenstein, he comes and he unties his spoon. Oh! Oh! Deus ex machina, God in the machine! <laughs> 